Hi guys, how's everyone? So it's Sunday morning at 10. Um, I would rather be rested and at church and having a day off, but that is not how my life is going right now. Um, first of all, excuse my voice if you can hear it. I am just very, very congested and my nose has been running and I forgot to bring a Kleenex down here. That's okay. I have a paper towel or something. Um, anyway, hopefully I can make it through the video. Um, so, and also there's more weather coming in and I am out of clothing to resell. So I am going to um, just load up and get out of here by tonight. And I probably am going to have to commit to being gone maybe an entire week. Um, and I thankfully have a place to stay an hour and a half away from here where I can get a decent amount of inventory and I can stage my business and I can work out of there. And then my husband will ship from here. I'll help him on the phone ship every day or two that I'm gone. Um, I put myself on two day shipping, but I'll probably try to do it every day. And I'm just doing that in case we have a little bit of trouble finding something that would give me some time to kind of research it and figure out what, you know, what happened. Um, but before I can even go, I need to definitely scrunch my entire garage, make sure everything's in order in there so that he has the best chance of finding stuff possible. Then I need to do some paperwork that's really hard for me to do when I'm out of town because I need to print things off. Um, I do have a second printer here that um, you know I got uh, from my mom when her husband passed away. She had two and he had one, you know, and and so um, I got the the extra. So I may just stick that in the car um, and I need to hook it up and do all the downloads and stuff anyway. So I may take that to my daughter's apartment and just get it hooked up and just leave it there when I'm done with it you know this week if I don't have room to get it home I need to concentrate on getting clothing and stuff to sell home so I, I have to be careful what I pack to take thinking that I'm going to be able to get it home because anything I take right now limits my space um, when I'm coming back from the bins so um, it's a big it's a big mess still out there. Um, I guess it wouldn't be a mess if I had gotten enough inventory, and I did try. I've given it the best I could, and I am still just typing faster than I, you know, um, have inventory for. So I've typed in 60 items between my VA and myself in the last um, three days. Uh, because 20 a day is the minimum of my goal. I really need to be doing 30 to have the income that makes it worth my life being this crazy. Um, you know, it's worth it. We pay our bills. We have some extra when I find a home run or a grail, but we are not saving enough for the future and my income does not justify the craziness of my life. So for me, it's an all or nothing deal. I love what I do and I'm willing to live away from home and in hotels sometimes. I'm willing to do all that when the money is there to justify that. But, you know, you can't just, you know, um, have low wages and be driving all over the country. You just, it, it just makes no sense. So, um, what I'm going to do is uh, I've got a lot of stuff that I'm loading. I'm taking my book scanner. I'm taking some projects. I'm taking some paperwork. And a lot of the time this week, I will just stay um, you know, with my daughter. It's my apartment, too. We share the apartment. I will stay there, and I'll do a lot of these projects. And there is a lot of inventory to be had right there in that community. Plus, my sister-in-law from Malawi did arrive, thankfully, after much chaos and snow and missed planes and all of that. She did arrive on Friday, which is a huge blessing. And so I have never met my nephew. He's five years old, and I've never met him because of COVID and her getting her visa and all kinds of things, even though they've been married for almost 10 years. So I've met my niece, and her and I are bonded for life like she's just the most cutest thing. But I've talked to Jabulani, that is his African name, Jabulani. Uh, I talked to him a lot on Zoom, and I feel like I know him, but I've never once met him. And so I need to just be with my family this week some anyway. And um, I don't know why they're not all willing to drive up here in the mountains and get stuck for weeks. I don't know why nobody ever comes to see me anymore. I just can't understand that. So I do get mad at my kids sometimes because they're like, no, you come down here. And I'm like, no, you should come see me. And 
yeah, they don't because it's just crazy up here. I mean, I love where I live, but it, especially this winter, I honestly can't blame them now um, because you are, you do have to pack a bag like just to come for a day trip unless it's the middle of the summer. So anyway, um, it has been tough, you know, uh, and there is more snow coming that will probably close the roads because of the wind. So I'm loading up everything. I'm loading up my book scanner. I need to get that rehooked up. Um, I've realized again that I need to go back to having Amazon be a significant part of my income. It always has been, but then after COVID and when I was working as a nurse, I kind of decided to restart eBay first and put all my time, effort, and money into that. And then I would go back and do Amazon. Um, you know, eBay is big enough with just even a few thousand a month coming from Amazon, which I should be able to do in my sleep. I've always done it. For 20 years, I've sold books or whatever I could find on Amazon. I just will never trust Amazon as my full-time income again. I've done that. I've been kicked off before, got right back on three weeks later, but there was that nervousness and that, you know, uncertainty of whether, you know, they were going to put me back on, even though I didn't do a thing. So, you know, it's just, I don't want to live like that. I don't trust Amazon for any reason. I don't think a human ever looks at your case. And so, so I'm willing to sell on there and just let it ride for as much money as I can get. But I don't ever want to think that any money I have on Amazon is mine until it's in my checkbook and actually like spent, you know, because um, I just... I think that they hold people's money. I mean, these are not just fake stories that you read on the internet. I am here to tell you that I've been kicked off of Amazon before, and you won't believe me, but it's been about 15 years ago, um, and I would have to go back and dig out all my paperwork. I don't even remember the exact circumstances, but all I know is that, thank God, I was selling a ton on Amazon at the time, and I had a huge business account full of money. You know, not my money, but business money. Um, they took, I want to say it was like seven or $8,000 out of my account in error, and it took about six weeks to get it back. Now, I, you know, they gave it back willingly, but I had to go to 10 different departments, and um, it's kind of similar to what happened with the gallery thing with eBay this last couple weeks. Um, some people have had thousands just inadvertently taken out of their checkbook, and um, they have to get it back, and it takes weeks and weeks and weeks. And um, so anyway, I did get it back, but it took forever, and that was a huge amount of money to me at the time. Even though I had a lot of cash flow, it didn't really wreck my business, but it sure sent it for a loop. And definitely getting kicked off of Amazon when I did nothing, you know, um, you know, was, was horrible. So I love Amazon in a perfect world. It would be the only thing I ever did for the rest of my life. Just send it into FBA and let them ship it and pay them. You know, you pay up for having FBA. So it's not like it's a free service, but it allows you to scale your business without having a lot of employees, at least at first, you know, if you can wrap it all and send it. So anyway, the point of that is that um, I'm going back. I'm starting now with that first shipment that I sent about a week and a half ago. It was only five items. It's baby steps, but I'm going to get back into book scanning and stuff this week and going to King Supers and Walmart and getting some of my products back um, within whatever budget I can. I only have like a $50 or $100 budget each week to grow it back up. But because I have the knowledge um, and I know certain books that people never scan, even book scanners, they just ignore them. And I have some things in the back of my pocket that I'm going to pull out and I'm going to start scaling Amazon back up. But I'm not going to let my clothing fail either. So with that said, I'm out of clothing. Um, I listed the 60 items in the last three days. And then I have 30 items behind me that are photoed and sent to my VA last night. So yesterday I launched 20 and I photoed 30 more and sent those to my VA. He doesn't seem to be at work today yet. I don't know if he'll get them done today. I didn't ask him ahead of time and it is Sunday. And um, it's not his fault that I'm sick and staying home and trying to beat a blizzard. So I'm not going to be down on him. Um, if he gets them done before four when I leave, which I really would love, then I'm going to go through and launch them all and put them away like you're supposed to. 
If he doesn't, I'm going to go through, put them away, write the number on the sheet. Let me grab one, guys. So these are my sheets that I send to him. I've gotten really fast at writing this. I can write this in like 20 to 30 seconds. So it does add some time when I'm using him versus I could type it myself. How fast could I type this and upload the pictures myself into a draft and just launch it? So he doesn't save me, you know, 50 hours a week. He saves me about an hour or an hour and a half on every batch of 30 I do. On the other hand, I'm paying him a dollar an item. So I'm paying him $30 to save me an hour or an hour and a half. I think it's worth it because I've gotten very fast at this. And on a lot of things, I don't even put keywords here. And this one has a stain, so I had to write something. But on a lot of the items, it's just circles, and then I'm done. So, And I try to pick up things and give him things where there's not a lot of extra, not a lot of thought. You know, he knows how to do a Nike shirt and a polo shirt, and he doesn't need my keywords for any of that. So that's what I try to send to him so that he really is helping me gain some time. But what I'm going to do is um, if he can't get them done before four when I need to get out of here because it is going to snow tonight, um, then I'm going to write this number on here and go ahead and double check it if there's any notes for myself that I was going to add after, you know, he... Um, did the draft, like if I'm not sure on the price, I'll go ahead and look that up, make sure all this sheet of paper is accurate, and I'll just take the, the 30 sheets of paper. Normally what I've been doing is if he's not done, I just throw them in the car, and then I finish them at my mom's house, and that's good, but I don't have space. I have got to change some of my habits to be able to get enough home from the bins. And that includes taking very little with me when I go, only taking what absolutely has to be done to list items when I'm in the hotel. Um, I didn't, I missed it again. Now, if he, if he gets his 30 done today, I will launch 10 for today and 10 for Monday and Tuesday. And that would really help me. If not, I'll do it tomorrow morning before I go to the bins or go shopping or whatever. Um, and that will still, I, I won't have any listings today. If he doesn't get them done, I have nothing else to list. So I just can't do it. And I'm in too much of a hurry to get out of here. So, so I listed really late last night. I could not sleep. So I listed like four items at three in the morning. Um, I'm still battling insomnia. I think a lot of it is just the chaos of all the decisions I have to make. Um, I feel like that. I have a plan and I feel pretty peaceful about it, but I feel like maybe there's just some underlying stress that is just vibing me up and making me unable to really sleep. So I'm looking forward to taking care of some of those problems this week and just getting a bunch of extra inventory in the house and getting a backlog so that maybe I can relax a little bit. Maybe that is part of the problem. I don't know. Um, I've had bouts of this before. It can be hormones and that kind of thing. Um, you know, I, I just have no idea why I'm battling this. Because I, I was excited about going to church today. I had a plan. I was going to get up early. But I just couldn't sleep till 3 in the morning. So now with my congestion and runny nose, I just don't have it in me. And um, so I hate to do that, but it's just the way it is. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, try to go to Denver for three of the days this week. And then the other three stay near um, where my family lives. And I'm going to just see what inventory comes out of the woodwork. I'm going to be very, very, very picky about what I put in my car because these trips are um, going to have to pay in a different way. You know, I can't bring home $7 profit items and have a car full and then realize that if you even if you get 500 items in there at $7, that is $3,500 in profit. That's not bad. But just think if I stay that extra day, spend that extra 100 and up that profit margin to 10 or 12. I mean, that makes a whole bit of difference and it easily covers the $100. So um, that's my plan, guys. Let me put this back so I don't lose it. Um, but for now, um, 
let's see, this is 14 minutes already. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, let's just go ahead and do some shipping. Um, if it gets to be too long of a video, I'll just read off the ones at the end. Um, it is Sunday. I'm leaving these orders for my husband to take tomorrow morning. Um, just doing as much pre-shipment as I can. Then we have an extra laptop that it's kind of slow, but it works. And um, I'm going to hook it up to the printer. And then tomorrow morning or whenever he can, tomorrow is no rush because I've got a lot of it done um then we'll ship tomorrow and um you know every day thereafter which makes it hard when i'm at the bins because i want to be at the bins from eight till eight at night so um maybe i'll um cut and paste and email him the list of things to pull tomorrow or Tuesday while I'm at the bins, then he can pull it while I'm gone. And then when I'm done at the bins and back in the hotel on Tuesday night, he can go ahead and prep for shipping. The problem with doing that is that we both have to remember to click for the next day. And it's just one more step. And I don't like doing that, especially when we're both tired. So I would rather maybe just delay getting to the bins till like 9 or 10 in the morning, give him time to walk the dog, get ready for the day, and then he can help me ship, and then I'll just go to the bins like at 10 or 11, do some paperwork, keep the business running, you know, end, end some items, sell similar, that kind of thing. Maybe um, just do that. So that's kind of my... My plan for the week, guys, I will let you know. My bra customer does want some more. She says she's only buying from me now because um, I, you know, I wash them. I give her good stuff. I try to not send her a bunch of Fruit of the Loom and, and stuff that she can't use. So she wants more. So even over the three days, I would be thrilled if I could find enough decent stuff to, um, you know, have her help me pay for the trip. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, let me go see where we're at here even. Okay, so let me refresh, make sure nothing else came in. Okay, I've got 19 orders since Friday. I did not ship Saturday morning. I normally do, but let's see. Oh, we had a breakfast. I was like, I know I wasn't gone out of town. We had a breakfast, and, it was, and, and our um, post office is only open one hour on Saturdays, so I couldn't get there. So this is from like Friday afternoon until Sunday afternoon, so 48 hours, not the best. Um, 19 orders, $506.19 total. It is what it is, guys. Um, that's why I really hope he can get at least 10 items today done so I have some listings going up. But if not, I really feel good. I feel like I'm going to put a dent in this problem this week and, and life will be good again. It's just going to take some dedication, um, honestly. All right, this is a Panama Jack bucket hat. Don't sleep on hats, guys. Um, this one's good. It I put packable because it is packable. I'm still going to ship it in a box because it has this part, but technically it is a packable mesh green bucket hat in a size large. Let me, I want to fold this back again. Sorry. I've got too much stuff on my, uh, too much stuff on my table. All right. Let me. Hold this bed on. Okay. Let me find my tape gun. Yes, yeah, so I'm loading up my rug that I take photos on because I don't have enough listings to get me through. Normally what I would do is wait for my VA to have the 30 listings done whenever that was, and then I would um, you know, schedule those out and then I would go. Like I would rather go tomorrow. I, I'm not thrilled with having to leave today. I'm tired. I have a lot of things I'd like to catch up on, but um, I don't have a choice. So I'm not going to complain, and um, it's okay. But uh, so I'm going to have to list when I'm gone, either at my mom's or in the hotel room. I'm not going to have a choice about doing that. So um, I'll just take 10 of my best bins items. I'll wash them at the hotel washing machine, you know, or whatever I can get in the washer, um, you know, each day. Then while I'm relaxing at night, um, I can do 10 items in my sleep, and that's what I'll do. All right, this is 11 ounces. I do believe that listing every day makes a huge difference in the algorithm. Plus, I just don't want to wait till I get home and have four days of not having listed. I don't want to do that. 
I'm not willing. So um, these are going first class. Let me get back and do my job. I'm trying to tell you guys if things sell. This did sell with promoted. I definitely believe that promoted listings helps your items sell faster. Um, I'm experimenting with it on certain things that just have 100% sell through or more. I don't always put the promoted on because, you know, I don't need it. But on, on a lot of my things I do because I want to be the first pick. Um, so anyway, um, no coupons. So it was eleven twenty-five plus shipping eighteen sixty-eight, and this should come up as Monday. Now um, I do check it because in bigger cities, you know, Sunday is an option um, for UPS, especially for me it isn't. So it says Monday tomorrow. Just be sure that um, you know you check that. All right, so it's twelve ounces. This is going to Idaho. They're getting ready for summer. They can keep hoping themselves, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my days and nights are still off, so I'm like eating chocolate at 10 in the morning because it feels like it's lunchtime. You know, just craziness. I can't wait till this is this is done. So I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure it's not like an anxiety thing, like how am I going to get inventory? I'm going to make sure that this week this is the last of that problem, and then we'll see if it's like a hormonal thing or just something to do with, I don't know, who knows what, but. I'm going to make sure it's not because I'm stressed with the business. That is not a way to live. So. So what I'm going to do at the bins, my strategy is to, you know, pull a lot and then I'm going to have a, a maybe sack, which sounds weird. I'm just going to have a maybe pile, put it that way. And it'll be like $10 profit items, not bad, not horrible, but I'm not going to pick those up if I can find 50 or 100 other items by the end of the night. On the other hand, I don't want to wait and put those back when it is good usable inventory. So I'm going to do that every day that I'm there. I'm going to pull everything I can keep anything that I could live with if I had to, but I am going to try to fill my car with like $30, $40, $50 dollar items. Um, and then I'll look at my expenses that day, which is about $100 a night for the hotel. And if I'm finding at least one $100 item, like easily $100, not push it and get $100. Like, okay, this is an easy $100, $200, $300. If I'm finding a bolo item every day that pays for the hotel, then I'm going to keep staying and I'm going to keep filling my car with 30, 40, 50 dollar items. If, you know, it's just not happening. Um, the other thing I'll try is go to the regular stores in the area. I do really well and I find bolos at a couple of arcs in the area. So I'm going to do everything I can to have the value of my car when I come home to be between five and seven thousand dollars. Um, you know, that's my goal. Um, I don't know if I'll make it, but I'm going to try. And I'm going to try to do that from now on. Um, so anyway, this is Columbia. This is a Columbia XL. Let's see, it's 4307. A lot of my items are in the 4,000s. You know, the newer stuff is selling. Now, I have some clearance ones that, that if you've been watching my clearance videos, you'll recognize some of them from just a couple days ago, which I feel really good about. Okay, these are a pair of Columbia trunks. They are extra large. They're just gray swim trunks. I did put packable in these, and I think that helps sell them. Columbia I struggle with, but um, with summer coming, I'm willing to try to get $12 on a pair of Columbia shorts and swim trunks. And it paid off this time, but these are also an XL. I don't know that I'm going to fill my store with Columbia Smalls. I think I'll take those to the consignment store. So, um, they did use my coupon, 20% off. They also used my promoted listing, or that's how it came up for them. Um, $14.95, but all shipped $20.25. So, still not bad. The customer still had to pay a decent amount. So, and I paid, I got those at the bins. I never pick up Columbia at the regular store unless it's like some real nice, heavy, heavy piece. I just, I find it at the bins so often that I just do that. 
So um, this is going to Dallas, Texas, um, and I charged them $6.75, and it's $6.22 to send. Actually, this needs to go down. I'm at 14 ounces, and it's 9.3, so I'm going to up it to 10, and oh good, that lowered it to $4.88. All right, so I get $1.50 on the shipping. Yay! So yeah, um, my husband's a big help, you know, um, he does need to work on the side somehow or another, you know, just being in ministry, anyone in ministry, that's all I got to say, but, um, unless you're at a huge, huge church, but, um, then you probably wouldn't be interested in reselling if you're doing that. Um, but anybody who's trying to support themselves in ministry or so they can have more volunteer time, it doesn't have to be a Christian thing, but just you're trying to have a, a life where you volunteer more or whatever. Um, you know, my husband does have to supplement his pastor's salary. So we've looked at all the choices at different times, different things come up. And, you know, when he does funerals or weddings, then um, people are generous and he gets, you know, extra money that way. But um, definitely the most lucrative thing for him to do right now and for us is for him to just help me ship so that I can go really, you know, double down on the good inventory. Um, there are jobs in town and he could retrain, you know, he's willing to do that. But um, we have this business and if we work it together and he does a lot of the, the shipping and the, and the grunt work when I'm gone, then that should... Um, allow us to double our sales this year. That is our goal. Um, I did 94,000 on just eBay, you know, last year that definitely needs to double between eBay and Amazon somehow this year. Um, and, uh, it's no secret how to do it. It's a cash flow issue how to do it. There is no secret to going and getting more and better stuff. That's common sense. I think anybody can do that. It's the cash flow, it's coordinating, getting it typed in, it's that kind of stuff. Thankfully, I have, you know, 20 years of experience on eBay, and I've had a lot of ups and downs with it. I've tried a lot of different things, and so I just know what I'm going to do. So, um, and I'll talk about that as time goes on. Um, this is something that everyone needs in their life. This is a three-piece um, flamingo suit. These are one of these Appa suits. If you've never seen them, they're novelty suits. They have Halloween and Christmas and all that, but they also just have a bunch of weird ones. And so this is a flamingo suit. Um, when I picked it up at the bins, I think I was hoping to get more like a hundred dollars, but I've had this a long time. So let's see, this would have cost me, let's see, two pounds four ounces so this would have cost me around what six bucks approximately so it's I still did really good um 20 percent off sold with promoted listings so um I took 55 10 plus shipping so 59 48 the problem with these is you always wonder if they'll wear them and return them like wear them to one party but you know it is what it is people are gonna be weird like that if they if they want to I should have put 14 day returns on here. That makes it a little tougher, and I didn't. I, I think I have 60 day returns, which is fine. I'm not going to spread it. Let's weigh it again. Two, four. All right. So I was getting ready this morning, and I did clean out my entire closet. I put a lot of stuff that is skirts and dresses and stuff in another closet because I don't wear those except on a Sunday. Um, you know, and I just really did a huge cleanup in my closet and I went to put this sweater on and it's the funniest thing. So I don't, well, let me go back so I can see what you're seeing here. So it's, it's a cute sweater, right? It's a little different. It has a zipper. It has a little bit of detail, has a little bit of, you know, um, detail there. And, um, you know, it's nothing amazing, but it is, it is kind of unique. And, um, I've had this for like a year and a half and it never entered my mind. I think I did get it at the bands. Maybe I've had it longer than that. But anyway, I was going to put it on today and it is shine S H E I N like the lowest end brand ever. And this is so funny cause I get a lot of compliments on this sweater, like just cause it's a little bit different, you know? And, um, I thought, man, you know, maybe that brand got it right once. So, you know, we make fun of shine and how, you know, who wears that fast fashion and we certainly can't make any money reselling it, but there, they did do a couple things, right? They, um, I don't shop by, um, you know, 
brand really I just I shop by style so um this is going to Georgia and I undercharged them on the shipping because it is two pounds five ounces so let me see I could make my husband go to UPS tomorrow um he might have to anyway it's not going to save enough to be worth it so anyway I undercharged them by about five bucks on the shipping but that's okay um we have the cushion for it I only charged them $10.99 and it's $15.02. Sometimes I'll do that because, you know, for most people in the country, this would have cost $12. So I put it at $10.99, try to keep the shipping down. This one I got, you know, caught on, but it's all right. I think it's worth it. If, if I would have advertised $16 shipping or $17 to most of the country, I wouldn't have sold this. I mean, maybe to this person I would have, but... Um, nope. When you live in Wyoming, you know, I make enough money on the, um, first class because that is pretty, pretty much the same based on where you live. It's not that much more or less. Um, it's a little bit and same on the padded flat rates. That's the same no matter what. So I, I, you know, make enough on those to, to offset this. So yeah, I'm excited to get on the road, but I'm going to have to take a nap. I only, I'm going on about three hours of sleep, and so I need a nap. Then I'm going to wake up, do my paperwork, and try to get out of here by four or five. Um, when my brother was in... Um, China working there as a as a teacher um, he's a master degree teacher but when he was there it's not an embassy school that he was working at but anyway long story short he had a lot of Chinese friends and he had a chef a Chinese chef friend and he taught my brother how to make the best bread and the best pizza dough and pizza so I told him I was coming tonight and I'm like you know let's have something good for supper so I'm hoping that they'll pick up I'm hoping my brother is got the energy to make pizza He's had a crazy week, too, because he uh, packed his car and was ready to go to Denver to get his wife, who was flying in from Africa, and then her plane got delayed and stuff, so he had to unpack the car and wait two more days, and so he's had a crazy week, too. I don't know if he'll end up making pizza or not. I don't blame him if he's not up to it, but sure would be nice. <laughs> his pizza's really good. All right. Oh, that's another order that just came in. I don't have it in front of me, but it is um, Pure Jill. Oh, and then I got another offer. Yay, today's good. It pays to list at 3 in the morning, I guess. Um, Pure Jill Linen Pants, size XL. Um, let's see. I put new, so they must be new at tags. This must be a bin thing. So I probably could have gotten more, but I took 14 plus shipping, so $21.76. Sold via promoted, but no coupon. Um, let me go up here. I'm going to take this offer. Let's see what we got here, guys. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren Boys Shorts. I'm waiting for it to open. I was trying to get $14.27. They want to pay $8. You know, I think I'm going to take it. Um, they're boys size 8 shorts. They're real small and lightweight. I think I'm going to go ahead and just take it. It's a, it's a bins thing I would have paid $0.50 cents for, so I am okay with that. Get some cash flow back into the business. Get something else going. I need money this week for the bins because I am going to go find some high-end stuff here somehow. So, yeah, that's going to North Carolina. And I'm sure that it won't cost $6.75 to ship it unless they happen to be heavy. I don't think so. but um, So hopefully eBay sends me some more sales since I'm taking my offers that people are sending me. All right, this is um, another brand I'm um, getting more and more into. Uh, I was passing on it a lot. And now I'm picking it up at the bins. So you saw I just sold a Pure Jill. This is a J. Jill um, jacket. And it was really cute. I knew it was a substantial piece. Sorry, I need to get to orders here. Waiting shipment. Um, let me show you. Oh, by the way, I got this air purifier and I was in a hurry, you know, this last few weeks has been kind of crazy and, you know, um, I just unwrapped it, took it out of the box and plugged it in and started using it and then I was like, you know, I better, 
empty that filter. So anyway, I looked at the bottom and you just rotate it and pull it out. And I and they had plastic on the filter that was inside. So in other words, I should have like opened the bottom, looked at what this thing's about, learned about it, but I did and I just plugged it right in. Thankfully it's fine, but I um I took the plastic off the filter. So I've been running this thing for maybe two weeks and it hasn't been filtering anything. So anyway, that's my life. I'm getting there. I am getting there. Oh, okay, this is actually a sweater. Let me make sure I got the right one. This is 4220. I have a really pretty um, jacket, too, but this is a really substantial, heavy sweater. Let's see. This is 4420. Let me find this. Come back here. Hold on a sec. Hopefully, I. it's sticking to my tape. Hold on, guys. Ugh. Just welcome to the Crazyville here. Um, okay. Let me see. Maybe this is not the right one. Maybe I just saw J. Jill and pulled it. No, this is not the jacket. This is a sweater, so I'm going to put this back. I will just tell you about the jacket that I saw. So this is not the right one. Okay, so this sweater, anyway, is a good find. It's purple. See, that's why I pulled it, because this is a purple sweater. And um, I'm going to put this over here. So what I sold that I will ship after I let you guys off the hook from following me here with all this craziness, um, I sold a J. Jill jacket. It's a woman's large blazer. I put boyfriend, plum, long line, corduroy, and velour trim. So it's like this nice kind of long, fits at the mid-thigh um, jacket, corduroy with some um, velour trim. It's pretty. I, you would have seen it on my haul video if you've been watching. Um, anyway, it sold via promoted. I took 30 as an offer on that. I think I had it at 50, but I took 30. And then they paid shipping, so 42 43 And let's see where this one is going. This one is going. Whoop, it popped up here. Hold on a sec. Do, 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 do. This one's going to Ohio. So, yep, we'll see what happens. I'll go find it. Hopefully I can find it. I don't know why I grabbed that one. It must have just been close to the other. Okay, this is a really cute roper skirt. Um, this has horses and really cute detail in the... Um, well, I didn't. I should have put, I should have done a better job on this listing. I didn't put equestrian. I didn't put a few key words that would have really helped. Anyway, um, this is a Roper Maxi skirt. It's a 32 by 32.5. I don't think it had the tag, so I had to measure it. So I put vintage and pleated. Maybe that's why I just put horses and horseshoes and I didn't have room after putting some of the other details. But anyway, this sold via promoted. Um, they paid $24 at plus shipping, so $28.30. I'll take it, but I definitely feel like I should have had a question in the title. Oh, well, maybe I ran out of keywords. Maybe I had it in the listing. Sometimes, you know, I'll put it in the theme or I'll put it in the description if I can't fit it um, in the title. But that would have been like one of the number one keywords. But I guess I didn't have a size. So since I didn't have any size, I had to put the measurements in the title. I guess I could have just left the size blank. Just put Roper, Roper skirt, women's equestrian. I guess I could have just pretended that I forgot the size and then they could have clicked in, I guess. Um, this is going to California. It's 10.5 ounces. So I'm going to keep about $1.50 on the shipping also. I uh, let myself get behind on these rolls. It looks like they shipped them already. I'm, you know, I only have 32 left and I have 30 items behind me. So I'm going to have to either keep stuff just not put away and just tuck it under here for a week until it arrives or whatever. I went to eBay and I purposely ordered the labels from someone in California and I think I know I got a shipment notice for something I ordered this week, so I'm thinking it's that because I haven't ordered too many things. So hopefully I have just got to um, get ahead of this stuff, guys. So I ordered 500 and then I ordered the next 1,000, I think it is. So I should be okay for a while. 
All right, this is a Catherine's vest. Catherine's is a great brand. However, this had a stain on it down on the lower hip of the vest, and I tried soaking it with some other things that I was soaking that week and just could not get it to budge. So I just disclosed it. It's a nice denim vest anyway, so people went ahead and bought it. But I took um, $7.50 for it because, you know, I, I mean... In a hiking item, maybe I would take a flaw, but I don't buy flawed items myself, really. I guess it's because I thrift, and I know I can find a brand new item for nothing. But um, but anyway, I'm thankful this customer did. Um, they used promoted listings, or that's how it popped up for them, but no coupon. Let's see here. This is a pound, five ounces around. This is going to Colorado, Boulder, Colorado. Um, This was a 1X vest. So if it hadn't had that flaw, I would have probably put it at $19.99, something like that, on a Catherine's 1X denim vest. I think it would have sold for quite a bit. Um, Let's see. I'm going to keep about a buck on the shipping. Let me go see if my VA is getting his stuff done first. I hope he gets a few done today, but it's all right. I am okay either way. I knew I was sending it to him without talking to him about whether he was working today or had time today. Tomorrow will work. It'll just mean I have to kind of reorganize. Let me see here. Oh, it normally pops up, but it didn't. Let me go to print. Okay, and this is Marilyn Russell. Let me make sure that's the right one. Um, yes, it is. Okay. Normally, it just pops up for me on my printer. I don't have to download it or anything to, to print it, but this time I had to click print for some reason. I don't know. I'm probably giving the computer too many commands. So, nope, he has not started, so... That's all right. We'll just wait and see, see what happens. I at least got my part done, you know, the first part of just the photography. So that's fine. There are times when he, you know, maybe it's his day off and then he realizes I sent him something and he'll do like 10 in the middle of my afternoon. Um, and then he finishes the rest tomorrow. So it's fine. I... I'm okay with it. Now this I'm happy with. This is a Wilson's pair of jogging pants. If you um, watched my editing videos from like just two days ago, I think it was, these were not listed. They had fallen off somehow. And um, so I marked them way down. So this is a clearance item and I'm so glad they're going. Um, it sold via promoted, no coupon. So I got $6.50 plus shipping. So $17.52 on this. I need to get on YouTube and see what the whole conveyor belt Goodwill bins is about. If any of you know, let me know. I know the girls at the bins where I go who are kind of my friends, um, you know, they were telling me that the one I like to go to, it's closing and then they're going to reopen it whenever after they do the construction and it'll be like a conveyor belt one. And then there's still two other bins in, in Denver. So I don't know what the ultimate plan is. Um, this, um, pair of Wilson 2X pants that are clearanced are going to Cincinnati, Ohio. So that's good. Um, so yeah, I don't know, you know, what the deal is. Um, the other thing on these two is these only weigh 15 ounces. So I could have eked these by with first class. That may be why they didn't sell two. And even when I edited it, I don't think I caught that. 
So, um, excuse me, the customer had to pay several dollars more than they should have. Um, I mean, they're getting priority shipping, so it's fine. But still, I think maybe I could have gotten a little bit more for the pants if they didn't have to pay so much. So always check that. I, um, I normally only list when the scale is in front of me, and that's why I'm going to go ahead and pre-pack these items if I can get it done. I am running out of time. It's almost 11. I have to take a nap, and then I have like four hours of paperwork. But I, I might just load up the printer behind me and just do my paperwork um, at the apartment. I might just go ahead and get the things that I don't want to take with me here done and then um, do that. Because I've still got to clean the garage. I have to get the garage to where my husband can easily find everything. It's not a mess. It's it's pretty clean. It's just that um, I have a lot of empty boxes and um, I then I have a stack of boxes because I have don't have shelf space. So um, I easily have plenty of shelf space. I just have to get in there and rearrange everything. All right, these are a pair of page shorts, page denim shorts. This is another, no, this isn't a clearance item. This is 4000 So this is something I just bought at the bands. I was probably going to um, consign this, but I think I looked at them and they had a, um, a name on these. They're the Jimmy Jimmy short um, shorts. That's the name of them is the Jimmy Jimmy. And so anyway, I went ahead and took seven fifty plus shipping. These are cute. They're, you know, they're short shorts. They just, they have, um, I guess not a lot of distressing, but anyway, that's the name of them. So happy to have bought those at the bins. Um, they didn't use promotions or anything on this. So that's good. Sorry, guys, I really was trying to keep these videos lower. We're already at 46. Um, I might just read you off the rest. Um, I want you to get the content, but I know there's nothing about me standing here actually printing that you need to see. So I think as soon as I print this one, we will go ahead and just read off the rest so you know what I've sold today. And then I will print them myself. This is going to Germantown, Tennessee. Um, I'm going to keep about a dollar forty-two or something on the shipping, so that helps it a little bit. That kind of paid for the for the shorts, if you count it that way. Let's see. Oh, he's making chicken. Well, I've never had my brother's chicken. I guess I will try that. I was hoping for pizza, but if I'm there enough this week, he'll make pizza. Um, sounds good, though. It must be that my sister-in-law wants chicken. Um, she makes amazing African food. If you're willing to try all different things, like in my family, I have no choice because my daughter-in-law is, um, her mom is from the Philippines, like first generation. And um, so my daughter-in-law makes all kinds of lumpia and, you know, got me started on Thai tea and all this other stuff. And um, so we love all different kinds of um, ponzit and things like that. And, uh, yeah, my sister-in-law from Africa has a whole set of, is it empanema, empa? M Pima, my niece says it all the time. She was like, I can't wait for my mom to hurry up and get here so I can have such and such. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's good. Um, so I'm sure I'll be having some African food in the next couple weeks. All right, guys, let's just read what I have, and then I'm going to go ship and um, let you guys get back to what you're trying to do. Um, this is a Roots um, sweatshirt. That's the name brand, and it has Canada spelled across it. It's a burgundy sweatshirt that just says Canada, but it's cuter. You can tell it's a little bit heavier. Um, I got this at the bins. I would have paid about two dollars for it because it's uh, one pound 30 and it's like like a dollar 69 that I pay so let's say I paid 225 for this whatever um, they did not use promoted or a coupon they made me an offer for 10 and I went ahead and took it so I'm gonna get that shipped 
This is a pair of BKE jeans. I just listed these last night. Um, they do have reed in the title. On the bottom front leg of one of the legs, there's some like little bleach stains. They're real small, real small white spots, but they are still visible. So I took 15 plus shipping, so $25.80. Um, the sold via promoted, but they did not um, use a coupon or anything because they made me an offer. All right, this is a torrid blouse. This is a really good bins pickup. I love this blouse. Um, this is a 3X or a 2224. There's the tag, really pretty, just kind of sheer um, floral button down. Um, they did not use any kind of promotions. I got 18 plus shipping, so $26.79. Then I've got a pair of LL Bean pants. Um, boy, I guess I just listed these last night, actually. I'm going to have to pick these up more. Um, these are L.L. Bean Women's 1X. They are cotton pull-on. Um, they do have blue pockets. Um, I'm trying to see here if, um, this gal is a seller. Like, maybe I missed something on these. Um, nope. Doesn't seem like on this account anyway. Um, it just seems like I've seen her name before. Um, anyway, so she, um, these did sell via promoted, but she paid 12 plus shipping, so $23.13. Um, honestly, these are just like, I mean, they're a little bit soft. They're kind of like a J. Jill, you know, um, Ponte a little bit. But um, anyway, I'm happy with that sale, really. Um, I might need to check into those more make sure I'm not missing something on that particular style of L.L. Bean. I don't think of it as like a hiking pant or anything like that, traditionally L.L. Bean. I think of, of it more as like an active wear lounge pant, I guess. Um, this is a Chico sweater. I was real happy with this. I'm starting to get into the Chico's, um, you know, and really pay attention. I've just been ignoring Chico's too because I've been trying to up my standards, you know, and that's great, but you can't ignore what's right in front of you. This is a Chico's cashmere blend sweater. It's a size one. Um, it's kind of a tunic, so it comes down, you know, past, um, uh, past your hips. And I got $39 plus shipping, so $52.04 on that. I'm really happy with that. They used promoted, but no coupon. And then this is another clearance item. Yay, number 802. And I'm on the 4400s right now. Yay, I'm so glad. So glad to get this out of here. Um, these are a pair of guide gear jeans, so they are flannel lined. I thought they were very nice. Um, I don't know where I got them. I don't know if this was a part of that free jean pile I got. Hopefully, hopefully I, I didn't pay too much on these. Um, they did come up on promoted, so I got $10 plus shipping, so $20.54, which is okay for clearance. All right, then I got a pair of Patagonia shorts. Where are we, Patagonia? Um, these I took 15 for 23, 27 total. Um, these sold via promoted, no coupon. Um, these are a 2XL men's nylon lightweight shorts. So those are going first class. Um, this I'm glad, this is another clearance item, state of emergency video game. I've had this forever. I think I took two bucks for this. What did I take? I was so glad to see this gone. Oh, where is it? Oh, there. I'm like, I know that it's old. Um, I took three dollars plus shipping, eight forty-three out of here. Yay! That's three clearance items in one one shipping time. So, um, you know, do as I say, not as I do. First, just don't make a mess and have clearance items if you can help it. But if you do. Deal with them. They're going quick. It's good. I'm getting some cash flow to go spend at the bins this week. Um, I took a, a low offer on this. I, I could have waited. These are Sims um, fishing shorts, and they normally do really, really well. But, you know, I got these at the bins, and, um, you know, I need to uh, get my stuff turned. So this guy came up and offered me 10 on a pair of Sims fishing sh uh, shorts. I had $19.99 on them, but I took his offer. He's $16.96 all in. That's okay. I um, still made 6 bucks on these shorts. Not perfect, um, but it's okay. These are Nike joggers. They're a very unique color. They're more of an orange than they are a red. And um, these sold with my 20% off coupon and promoted. So $15.33 plus shipping. So $19.95. I'm happy with that. 
So the only thing I'm not showing you now is when I click in, like, did I keep some on the shipping on some of these? You know, that's the only thing that you're missing out on. Um, and then this, let me see. I thought I, I was going to say I'm trying to do better and not, like, totally pack everything so that you can see it on my son's stuff. Um, this is a toy. This is 4.5 inches, so this is not that big. And he just buys bulk toys. He does try to make sure there's some value in the box before he takes it home. But if we're in a hurry at garage sales and it's $5, he'll just take it home and donate it back or give it to my nephew now. Um, this is just a trailer, um, a Pioneer Pump trailer by United Rentals. Um, he had it at 50 uh, all shipped, so I took um, an offer of 35 plus shipping, which puts us in at 46 So we're a few dollars lower than we wanted, but we got it sold fast. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go finish putting the labels on these things. Thanks so much for coming. I hope you don't mind that we just um, speed it up. I'm going to, I told myself that when I had this many orders, I was just going to show you, not make you wait for me to actually print the label but um sometimes it's interesting to see where they're going and i know that um a lot of people do watch to the very end but anyway i hope this is helpful um i will be doing some haul videos um i don't know where or when i probably won't get to shop today because i'm just barely going to get there with tying up everything in my office that i want to leave a certain way so maybe as early as tomorrow i'm going to start making haul videos and um, so I hope you'll tune back in. Um, I had a couple new subscribers in the last 24 hours. I have no other way to let you know that I appreciate that except on this video. So thank you. And um, I hope you'll come back. Please subscribe. See you guys. Bye-bye.